All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my solar system here, how everything works. I'm not gonna get super technical, but I'll show you the basics and, and how everything works. Um, this solar array that you see here, I put this up back in 2019. Um, if you haven't seen the videos on that, I'm gonna put that up here. The, the entire system is a AC coupled system. So I have the um, solar panels that you see here, um, microinverters that work with inverter chargers and batteries to uh, feed back to the grid and when the power goes out it turns into an off-grid system where uh, it powers the house and all my needs. Um, let me show you the components here one by one. Let's first start off with the solar panels themselves. The solar panels are made by Mission Solar. Um, they are 315, I'm sorry, 310 watts each and I have uh, 50 of them, what, totaling 15,500 watts. So the next thing here is the mount itself. This entire mount system here is made by Unirac. And again, I put this up back in 2019. Um, very good sturdy system. These are uh, scheduled 40, two inch galvanized steel um, tubes here, or pipes I should say. Um, the, the pipes themselves, you have to, I had to get those myself locally here, but as far as the, the square aluminum, um, supports here and everything that connects to the panels and the rails and everything, that's all made by Unirac. It comes in a kit and, uh, fairly easy to put together. The hardest part was, you know, digging the holes, uh, putting your, uh, pipes into the ground and making sure everything's all lined up. Um, again, I have the videos on that. Uh, you can check those out. Um, but the mount, mounting system was flawless. It was it's beautiful, very sturdy, um, and works great. Next, we have my microinverters. We got one here and another one right here. We have a total of 25 here. Uh, one microinverter for two solar panels. Uh, that's what they'll handle. So we have a total of 620 watts going in, DC power, or watts I should say, and the output, these put out 220 volts AC, so they can run, you know, so we can run stuff in our house. That's the beautiful thing about microinverters, is they take the, the power direct current from the uh, panels and convert them into alternating current, so you can use them for your house. Um, and that, and that's, that works great. The problem is these here are made by Chilicon and these are the CP720s. Um, in, an, in a grid tied situation where you just got panels on your roof and you got the microinverters underneath them, uh, they work flawless, they work really good. Uh, the problem we're having since this is an AC coupled system, um, we got in touch with the, uh, the owner of Chilicon and he was trying to tweak them remotely to work with our system here. Um, and we haven't been able to get them to work 100%. They work okay, but not 100%. Occasionally I'll have a, a, a microinverter go out on me and not go out dead, but um, just go on the blink. And um, in order to restart it, you have to shut the whole uh, branch down and restart it and it's just a big pain in the butt. We are, uh, the me and the installer here are gonna be changing these out to a different brand, probably AP systems of microinverters. Um, and hopefully they'll work much better than these here. Uh, but yeah, we've been having problems with the Chilicons for our type of system here. So these are my Schneider XW Pro 6848 inverter chargers. They will handle continuously 6800 watts and they will also handle up to 8500 watts for 30 minutes or a maximum of 12,000 watts for 60 seconds if you had that type of surge. So they're built like a tank basically. Um, the third inverter you see at the top there that was kind of an afterthought uh, we had purchased two of them and we already had the wires all set up on the other side of that board um, so we had to 
just mount it at the top there. I really didn't care um, as long as everything worked properly. So we mounted it near the top there. And these puppies here, they weigh, uh, I think their shipping weight is a hundred and almost 70 pounds. It's, uh, they're, they're pretty heavy. Yeah, they're like 169 pounds each. So uh, very heavy, very, uh, very durable. So these are the Reliant RB48 V200 lithium iron phosphate batteries. They are 48 volts each. They are nominal voltage is 51.2 volts and the nominal capacity is 200 amp hours each. And I have six of them. So here I am putting the batteries onto this moving dolly that I have. Uh, these batteries are extremely heavy. They're 300 pounds each. And uh, they were fun to work with. So what I would do is I'd roll them into place. Then carefully lift it up. And then position them up against the uh, three quarter inch plywood wall that I have built. And then I would uh, screw them on. Okay, so as far as how my system works here, let me explain it to you. Right now we're producing power from the sun. We're getting power from the sun, converting it into uh, AC and it's feeding back to the house and to the grid. All fine and dandy, but this is where the magic happens. When the grid does go down, if there's a storm or for whatever reason the grid goes down, within a millisecond these microinverters shut off and by law all microinverters have to shut off so they don't back feed into the uh, line uh, and and electrocute some linemen working on the power lines. So within millisecond, they shut down and those uh, inverter chargers in my garage, those kick on and start drawing power from the batteries to feed the house. And this all happens within milliseconds where the lights barely flicker. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, the only thing I have to do is there is a switch on the side of the house where I have to flip it or redirects the power back to the uh, microinverters telling them, oh, look, the power is back on. We can come back on again. So they can start taking power from the sun and feeding it back to the house or to the uh, um, batteries to recharge the batteries. And that's how the system works. And that's the magic of AC coupling. Now, as far as that box that I have to switch to send power back to the microinverters when the grid goes down, I could have had that done automatically. But I'm trying to keep, I was trying to keep costs down, and uh, so I told them I'll just, I'll just do it manually. Um, when the grid goes down, it's going to run off the batteries anyways. So the only thing I have to do is flip a switch and um, get those microinverters turned on again and start taking that power from the sun and uh, feeding the batteries again. Uh, so that is it uh, for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something about my system here and how it works um, and uh, plan you know it's this way you can help you plan on the type of system you want on uh, your place or your homestead whether it's a total off-grid system or an AC coupled system like this where uh, it runs when we have grid and it'll run when we don't have any grid as an off-grid system okay guys so thank you for watching please like subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video